Great. Well, um, thank you very much. Um, this session was uh, initially to be co-moderated by myself and Katrina Goddard. Katrina was uh, at the last minute not able to travel, although I understand she is uh, listening in, so uh, she'll be keeping track of me. So uh, this is going to be a presentation um, uh, and discussion on harmonization of outcomes and measures, uh, selection and performance. Uh, there's going to be um, actually three uh, brief presentations. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Jessica Hunter, uh, who's going to be presenting uh, uh, from CSER, and then uh, Alana Rahm and Ingrid Holm are going to present two different aspects of eMERGE uh, around uh, some lessons learned uh, for harmonization. So Jessica, I'll have you uh, come up for the first presentation. So I'm Jessica Hunter. I work at Kaiser Permanente with uh, Katrina. Unfortunately, like Mark said, she wasn't able to make it, so I'm going to present her slides, and I'm sure she's listening in on me as well. <laughs> um, so uh, for CSER, we're just getting started. Um, we've harmonized the measures and recruitment has started, and so we didn't have any data to present. So mostly what we wanted to focus on was um, kind of lessons learned and, and challenges that we've faced along the process. And I think we can all relate to this slide. <laughs> uh, we got there, but it wasn't quite the path that we anticipated um, to take, but we did get there in harmonizing our measures. Um, some guiding principles that we tried to use along the way, you know, of course, using existed, existing and validated measures, if they weren't validated, were there existing measures to use? Uh, we wanted to minimize change to any existing measures. Um, some people made debate on whether we kept it short <laughs> or not uh, for the harmonized measures. And then, of course, different sites had different plans for administrating surveys, um, and so we needed to be flexible in um, doing those surveys. Um, one thing we had to take into account was the site-specific differences. Uh, there were differences in population. There were differences in how people were defining decliners. Uh, we ended up landing on uh, defining a decliner as someone who declined sequencing rather than other study activities. Um, how people defined, how studies defined a provider. We ended up landing on who was responsible for the downstream care following return of results. Um, there were differences in the setting. There were differences in the approach. Um, both, um, I don't think any of us were planning on giving the organizational readiness to change survey. <laughs> um, not everyone was planning on giving a provider survey, and at least one site wasn't actually planning on giving any surveys. Um, so that was uh, one challenge that we had to face. Um, some of us have access to EMR data, other sites don't. So we had to account for that, um, as well as differences in starting of recruitment time. Um, so when work groups uh, suggested harmonized measures, there were ideal times to give these measures. Um, but where we ended up landing in reality is that some sites um, weren't able to meet these um, ideal time frames. Um, some of us uh, changed our time frame to give surveys to account for the, what was requested in giving the surveys. Um, but of course, you know, reality is not always ideal and when the timing works out. Um, some other challenges with the harmonization process were iteration and version control. This was a really big problem early on, um, particularly using email for documents and communication. It was very hard to control for version control using email um, rather than some centralized repository. Uh, lapses in communication between meetings. There was a lot of time between meetings. There were often um, communication among uh, subgroups, among the work groups, where decisions were made, and this led to, led to a lot of miscommunication about surveys. Um, a lot of work needed to be redone because some sites were ready to uh, start recruitment before the surveys were actually ready. And so then when they were ready, there was reprogramming. There was kind of a, a refresh and restart that had to happen that led to some duplicate work. And then um, obtaining feedback and pushback. Um, I know some sites didn't always feel like um, they were getting heard, um, and we weren't always able to accommodate all uh, concerns about the harmonized measures. 
Other challenges were adaptation. When we did have existing and validated surveys, um, sometimes we wanted to adapt them. And they're often very high literacy. And they're not always um, culturally sensitive. And so um, given the uh, focus of Caesar II and diversity, we really did needed to make these accommodations. And there wasn't necessarily time to do that. Um, harmonizing sensitive questions across uh, sites. And design challenges, um, particularly when incorporating harmonized um, measures into the site-specific measures. Sometimes the response options were the opposite. And so having to go through each survey at each individual site and make sure that the, sur the, whole, the survey as a whole was cohesive and um, easy to follow for the participant. Um, and then work group challenges. Um, a lot of the work groups kind of worked in silo and developing harmonized measures. So there were some competing uh, questions and overlapping measures that we had to account for. Um, in the end, we are mostly harmonized. <laughs> but to kind of give an example, we weren't even able to harmonize for sex, age, and zip code. <laughs> so this kind of gives an example of some of the challenges with being able to harmonize. Um, but you know that's OK, because um, at the end of the day, a lot of times it absolutely made sense that you can harmonize given the site-specific um, goals of the individual projects. Um, and even though we've developed our harmonized measures and circulated them, we're still facing uh, problems going forward or concerns going forward. Uh, one, combining data across disparate sites, uh, given our populations and our context can be quite different from site to site. And so being able to combine this data from the different populations and contexts is going to be a challenge. Uh, we have overlaps in concepts or projects across work groups that we are trying to start working through. And these conversations started during the meeting yesterday. And how do we handle kind of competing ideas across work groups? Uh, specifically for sites that weren't actually planning to give certain surveys or give any surveys at all, the need to provide supporting documentation for the IRB, particularly around um, analysis plans of giving these surveys, um, as well as just collecting data, cleaning, and redistributing it, as we started to discuss yesterday. Uh, Katrina wanted to take the opportunity to remind everyone that Kaiser is leading a supplement on validating a subset of the harmonized measures. So working to develop a panel to inform uh, which measures are going to be done. Um, so we're asking for at least uh, one person per site to uh, join this panel. Um, and if you are interested, uh, you can talk to, uh, Katrina isn't here, but Chris and Sarah are here, um, or reach out to Frank by February 1st. So some lessons learned uh, to share are one to plan ahead <laughs> and plan for and build in this time up front for work, um, particularly for the sites that weren't giving certain surveys or weren't planning on giving surveys. It was a much different um, issue to give a survey that you weren't planning on give than to just uh, add items to a survey that you were already planning on giving. So to perhaps build in specific plans into the RFA or allow for a budgeting stamp, uh, step when these plans were clear up front. Um, assure management of materials, so to have a centralized um, role for managing and hosting these documents to account for version control. Um, and allow time for development and validation of the measures. That was a really big challenge that we faced. Um, and of course, to facilitate cross-site communication to align these harmonized measures with the specific hypotheses. Um, and so this was uh, from the perspective of the Surveys, Measures, and Outcomes uh, working group. But of course, all the working groups uh, contributed to the harmonized measure. So certainly thanks to everyone, um, particularly thanks to Frank, who was a coordinator, and Katrina um, and Kelly East, who were the co-chairs, and then now Christine Meany, who's uh, the new co-chair with Katrina. Great. Thank you, Jessica. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the three presentations, and then we should have about a half an hour for discussion. So as questions come up, uh, keep track of those. And uh, when we have open discussion, uh, just plan to move to the microphones, and uh, we'll have the discussion. 